Hospitalizations across the state have dropped to their lowest point in more than a year. Right now, about 1,500 people are hospitalized. That's down about 100 patients from last week. New cases, hospitalizations, and deaths are as low as they were before the first wave of the outbreak. Let's look at some COVID-19 vaccination numbers across the state. There are more than 13.6 million people vaccinated. About 11.5 million are fully vaccinated after getting both shots. Almost 56% of the state now has at least one poke. This week, about 500 doses have gone out in Bell County and about 400 have been administered in McLennan County. While a large number of Americans are getting vaccinated, it looks like we will fall short of that July 4th 70% goal set by the president. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler takes a look at how we're doing here in Central Texas. While national vaccination rates are above 65% here in Central Texas, we fall far below that. 56% of eligible Texans have received at least one dose of a COVID vaccine. But here in Central Texas, our rates are much lower than that. 13.6 million had one vaccine and 11.5 million have had both vaccines. So even in the state of Texas, we, we could push harder. But here in Bell County, we really need to push harder. McLennan and Bell Counties are both under 45% of people with at least one dose. The majority of those vaccinated are older adults and senior citizens. A lot of our younger adult population feels like maybe this virus hasn't affected them as much and it won't affect um, them as much if they were to get sick. Current trends say that is simply not true. Right now, what is being seen across the country is that the biggest group getting sick with COVID are the younger people and they're getting sicker and sicker. But that's not the only reason more young people need to get their vaccine. Young people can be carriers of the vaccine of the virus to other individuals in their families, in their communities even though they may not have symptoms. With vaccination rates low in Texas, medical professionals say Texans need to pick up the pace or risk going back to how it was over the winter. We Texans like to brag and brag about how great we are. And one of the ways that we could definitely back that bragging up is to get our COVID vaccines and get our numbers down. Some doctors fear that the new strains of COVID around the world could take hold here in Texas if we don't see more people getting vaccinated. In Colleen, Adam Schindler, 25 News. All right, let's break down these numbers even further. About 1.7 million Texans fully vaccinated are between 12 and 15. That's about 13% of that age group. 13.7 million are between 16 and 49. That's about 40%. 7.9 million are between 50 and 79. That's about 65% of that age range. And about 830,000 are 80 and up. And that is about 67% of that elderly group.